Hey guys, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to blog with Squarespace. So first things first, your template. You can actually blog with any of the gorgeous Squarespace templates, so it really doesn't matter which one that you choose. However, there are a few that are specifically designed for blogging that you might like, such as Rally, Sky, Foundry, and Tutor. But as I said, any of these will work. The only other thing that you might want to consider is whether or not you want a sidebar, as not all templates allow for this. So I'll leave a list in the description below of every template that includes a sidebar. All right, so once you have decided on a template and are logged into Squarespace, this is what you will see. So you're going to click on Pages. And then you're going to click this little plus sign next to main navigation. Click on that and then select blog and title this just blog and then click on this little arrow next to it. All right, so now anytime you want to add a new post, you're going to click on this plus sign right here. Click on that and here is where you would enter the title of your post. Okay, and down here is where you would input your blog content. Now, this functions the same way as the rest of Squarespace, so you are working with blogs. This means you can insert text, images, buttons, sign-up forms, all with the click of a button. So let's say that I wanted to start with text. I would just type that in here because they already have a text block there for us. All right, now let's say that I wanted to add in an image. I would find my gray teardrop shape, click on that, select image, and add an image. Click apply. Okay, great. So now you're going to click on options, and you're going to want to make sure to update your post URL. So you're going to keep this short and simple. It would look something like this. And then you're going to add in your thumbnail image. And you're going to add your excerpt. So this is one to two sentences um, on what your blog post is about. Okay, great. So now let's go back to content. And there's a few more things we're going to do. You can add your tags and categories down here. So all you would do is click on the plus sign here and add in one of your tags. And just press enter once you've typed it in. And do the same with categories. Click create category. Let's say this was websites. I'm gonna click enter. Great, so that category has been created. Now, in the middle here, you'll see that it says comments off. You can change that to comments on if you'd like to um, allow for comments. Over here, you can decide on whether you want to publish it now or schedule it for the future, but I'm going to save and publish it now. Awesome, so there is the start of our blog. So now we need to go into our style editor so we can customize the look. So you're going to click this back button a few times, and then you're going to click design and style editor. So you're going to click over here on the right, and depending on the template you have selected, there will be a few different options for how you can customize your blog. The best part about Squarespace though is that it will show you your edits in real time, making it easy for you to choose. So for example, with the template I'm on right now, which is Rally, I can choose between the grid style like this or stacked with the information below. And as you can see, I also have a few more options, such as how many posts I want to display per row, the spacing, whether or not I want to show the image. So there's a ton of different options. If you're using a template with a sidebar, you will often need to turn this on in this section as well. 
So let me just show you one more example. Let's say I wanted to get rid of this date. I would just click on that and I could change that to none. Um, and if I wanted to, I could change the color of the title. So many options. So let's click save and back, back again. So the last thing I would do is go into settings, scroll down to where it says blogging, and then I'm going to click this arrow right here where it says comment settings, and just make sure that enable comments globally is allowed so that you will be able to see comments. Okay, and then I would also go into marketing and then pin it buttons and I would make sure to enable my pin it buttons for blogs. So Pinterest is one of my favorite ways of driving traffic and you want to make it really easy for people to share your content and this is a great way to do that. As you can see, you can customize the look, you can change the size and the shape. There we go, awesome. So now when you hover on top of any of your images in your blog post, a pin it button will appear just like this and allows people to share your post to Pinterest. That's it for this video. If you have any other Squarespace questions, just leave them for me in the comments. And if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up or hitting subscribe. And if you're just getting started with Squarespace, I have an awesome free five day mini course and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.